What's up, video bloggers? I hope everyone's doing well out there. I'm sorry I didn't vlog that much last week. Um, I've actually been working through some issues that was brought up by some little flashbacks and stuff. Um, just, uh, in fact, I was talking to Neil about it yesterday, and uh, he said that I did briefly bring it up in one of the vlogs, which I can't remember. I must have just been on a rampage of speaking that I completely missed what I was saying, but I had spoken briefly about my sexual addiction. Um, it's like, it's, you know, I'm not, I'm not proud of it. It's, uh, back then I was, but it's just because I was just this rapacious, um, animal that, uh, you know, just saw every person with a target on them, really. But, um, I worked through my issues. I did my crying, you know, I worked through it. I, you know, I grew through it and everything. Um, cause you know, I, I hurt a lot of friendships and, uh, severed a lot of really close friendships and, um, uh, you know, I see that commercial for the, the commercial that comes on all the time. I can't remember the name of it, but it's, uh, Passages in Malibu. And the guy says, I was an addict for 10 years. Now I'm not. You know what? You're always going to be an addict. You're always going to be an addict. And I think that's the most healthy thing for you to remember is that you were an addict and you're always going to be that. So that way it reminds you on a daily basis of never to fall back on that habit. So yeah. Um, so my my habit now is working out. You know, I work out every night. I know I've spoken about that. It's like that's all I can talk about now is just working out and, uh, a lot of my buds are like, dude, are you like on the juice or like, are you taking energy drinks and stuff? Like, not even. Seriously? No ways. It's a natural high. And the reason why people don't understand how hyper I am and have been is because they're not working out. And they don't understand how good you feel at the end of a, of a session that you're not just lifting weights, but you're pushing yourself. You know what I mean? I used to count reps. But now what I do is I actually realize that I'm using no limit as limitation. What that means is I'm not counting um, but what because what I try to do is if because if you try you know if you're starting from 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 one and your mindset is at ten, your your body, your mind is gonna tell your body that you're getting tired at six. So it's gonna say you can only do ten. So what you do is don't count at all and just do what your body can do. You know what I mean? Push. Um, I mean, I do four sets of all my dumbbell exercises, which, well, four sets takes me about an hour to do because, you know, I don't, you know what I mean? I'm not counting anymore, you know? And you a you actually limit yourself by, by counting repetitions. So, um, and then, you know, like when I get to the point like where I'm muscle fatigued, then I'll say... Come on, Kainoa, one more. One more, Kainoa, one more. And then I'll say five more, Kainoa. And then, you know, you actually give your brain like that, you know, like that body juice, you know, to to actually do it. So that's what's been really consuming my life is like working out, eating healthy all the time, you know. There's, there's, there's like no other life. In fact, I wish I had found this lifestyle back when I was consuming my life with sexual addiction because I would be in like the most hardcore shape, you know, but back then everything was just sex, alcohol, and rock and roll. So, um, you know what, like, kind of like twist my noodle sometimes is you'll get these people, because I know I have, you'll get these people that will say things to you like they'll say, um, they'll say like these detrimental things to you. Um, why? Because they're not working out, they're miserable, and misery loves company. So the, the, they'll say things like, you know, I've gotten, um, well, you know, if you work out every night and stuff and, you know, you know, and you build your muscles big and then what happens like if you stop working out, you know, your muscles are going to droop. Well, um, that's why you don't stop. You just keep going. You know, I mean, of course, you don't want to be like that guy whose muscles blew up, whose picture I'm not going to be showing you on here. <laughs> Just Google that guy, the muscles who blew up. Um, I, I'm not getting to that point. I, I want to be, um, I want to have mass, but I also want to be lean. Um, 
my my target goal for like maybe like the next four years is actually to have seven uh, percent body fat. I don't want to be like Ryan Reynolds and completely strip my body of fat. Your body needs fats. So you know you know anytime you're doing something that's positive, you're always gonna get the negative people that are gonna come out of the woodworks to shut you down or try to shut you down because they're gonna try and turn your mind uh, to thinking that it's not worth anything because maybe in the second week you're not seeing any results. First week, people usually start seeing, you know, like results. Second week, not. Why? Because you're not pushing yourself hard enough. Your body has gotten used to it. I'm not a personal trainer. I'd like to be, but, um, you know, some sometime down in the future. Uh, one of my really good friends actually said I'd be a great motivational speaker. And I really took that one to heart because I've actually thought about doing that a couple of times. Because, you know, I could take all of my life experiences, you know, and uh, help other people with them. I mean, I'm not saying I know everything, or who does? So, um, but you know, you always get people that say um, things that are harmful to your emotional, to your mental development, to build your body. And you just gotta like, push those people out and say, fuck you, really. <laughs> um, it may be trying to be helpful, but they don't see that they're actually being harmful and that's when you just like shush <laughs> so one of the other things I wanted to talk about was um, this 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 trending thing everything is trending nowadays you know what I'm saying you go on Facebook and then there's a little corner bar on the right that says these things are trending you know what ever since I was a kid I was very true to who I am and it's the same person who I am today in that essence um, I've never, I've never followed trends. Why? Because it's, it's gonna fade out. It's gonna fade out. And I know people that invest their whole identity into a certain um, trend. You know, let's say um, bit strips. I never bought into that. I saw that coming, and I was like, get that shit out of my face, really. You know, when I was a kid, you know. The, the they came out with all kinds of different toys, you know. In fact, I actually reminisced early this week about my brother, um, and back in the early '80s, there was this toy, this little like squid or octopus, and you would like throw it on the ceiling or throw it on the wall, and it would climb down slowly. And it's like, yeah, how long is that gonna last you, really? And there was a there was a plethora of toys that came out, you know, these trending things that came out, and um, they never last, you know. Uh, but you know what lasts is your own true identity in who you are. Uh, keeping yourself real. And not following these things because everybody else is, you know. All the fish are swimming one way because of being chased by the shark. So you go off on your own. You know, do your own thing. Be true to who you are, really. Yeah. You know, I think I think a lot of people, especially like the adults right now, that were actually kids in the eighties, um, they're really searching for some sense of belonging, like how they did back when they were a kid, and familiarizing themselves with the old stuff. But you know what happens when you when you start bringing up a lot of the stuff from the past, you're also gonna bring up some painful memories too. I should know. I have a boatload of them. So, thanks for watching very much. I appreciate um, all the submissions, uh, subscriptions. <laughs> I appreciate the subscriptions. Um, please like, comment, uh, share. That's awesome. I appreciate it, everyone. Um, so, the ice should be melting very soon, and Neil should be sitting next to me. Uh, kicking out some vlogs which I wrote back in early January. So look forward to that. Take care as always and Jugananda.